Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present to you today a Better Together story uh, involving Dynamics 365, the project service automation solution within it, and Microsoft Project Online, the PPM solution. Uh, since these solu uh, capabilities are all coming to your customers uh, and being made available through the Plan 1 licensing that's available, uh, customers having access to these capabilities and could leverage these things in very creative and productive ways. And uh, here at Wickersoft, we're actually uh, executing and making these things work better together for the benefits of the customers. Uh, the idea is that Dynamics really brings a customer-centric focus uh, to customer-related information and accounts that uh, project management solutions do not do by themselves. Microsoft Project Server and Project Online traditionally have done a tremendous job of doing traditional project and portfolio management, but it is a project-centric type of focus uh, that it takes. Uh, the projects that we work on for customers is just one dimension of things that we do for customers, whether it be in their opportunities, their service, their case management, uh, things that we're doing from a sales and automation, from an opportunity management perspective, uh, project management fits into just one piece of that puzzle. Here we're looking at a customer list or customer view that uh, includes in it uh, not only the opportunities that we're working on for potential business, but what's turned into projects and how many active projects we're looking at, maybe how many of them are at risk, what the invoice totals might be on the work that we're doing for them, including things like the case management things that we might be doing. The idea here is that a customer-centric view of that information that includes project management that's being done not only within Dynamics, but in Microsoft Project Online is valuable information for people that are managing those accounts. If I drill into a particular customer, for example, and I'm an account manager, and I'm not typically looking at a project management system on a day-to-day -day basis, to be able to get information about my account, including how we're doing and executing from a project perspective, and this can include any type of metrics that you want that are coming back from the project management capabilities, we can look at those as well. Also, as I'm going in and talking to my account, being able to look at things like how many projects are we actively working on? How many issues might there be? In this case, there are none. How many change requests? How many risks are we facing on the projects? Information that will help me as I interact with my customer and how that relation is going and what we're executing on on a current basis. Now, projects for these uh, customers can come in a variety of different fashions. Traditionally, uh, using the CRM capabilities in Dynamics 365, we can be managing opportunities. When those opportunities close and people sign on the dotted line, uh, those become contracts and hence projects, and we can work on those and execute on those in uh, a way that we see fit. Any of these opportunities can be an intake or a demand uh, flow into our project management solution. Also, just a general project request method where people are actually requesting internally different things that they need, <clears throat> whether it be from IT or whether it be from other services or organizations. These types of requests can come in and people can look at them, uh, justify and get them into the hopper so that uh, they can potentially be looked at, evaluated, and approved as projects. People can put in what they want, what the value statement is, and why, they re uh, why we should be doing these things. Maybe some high-level information or to whatever level of detail you want that information on what it's going to cost, what the benefits are, and maybe some uh, attributes in here that are going to determine what the prioritization is and, and when we should be doing these things in relation to other requests that come in. And the idea is that this can be another flow in addition to the opportunities that, that, that drive the demand that come in and can become uh, projects at the end of the day. Also, leveraging the self-service portal in Dynamics 365, uh, you can actually have that feed into this mix as well. Because projects and work requests can come from anywhere, internal and external customers, or a variety of nature and types of projects that might be coming in. Also, when they actually become projects, and in project service automation, we can manage these customers, these opportunities, these project requests, and then these projects. But when we're looking at these projects, um, uh, we may be wanting to approach these from a variety of different fashions. Um, here, each of these projects is an entity within the Dynamics 365 system, which in turn is related to a particular customer. Uh, but using the native onboard capabilities, which you guys are probably familiar with, uh, to manage projects and project service automation, that is native and now available within Dynamics 365. But leveraging things like um, IT projects that might be being managed, say, in Microsoft Project Online, uh, which is a best-of-breed project and portfolio management solution, you may decide to manage the project there. 
or if you're doing agile projects and people are using Visual Studio and Visual Studio team services, they might want to be able to use an agile approach, manage their backlogs and their iterations and their sprints there and have it feed back into this project. Or before we even do all of that, we may want to prioritize these projects and understand which ones we want to tackle first and which ones should become active before the others. So for example, let's just say we take that tack from right here within this active projects list within um, Dynamics 365, and this can include active and proposed projects, we can go in and simply click on the Prioritize button here. And Wickersoft has created an integration that allows this to work seamlessly with Project Online, meaning you can go into the portfolio analysis capability within here, you can do scenarios and look in um, uh, to the capabilities and look based on resource and cost constraints, what we can actually accomplish and do within this solution. Um, so for example, if we use these capabilities, we can start looking at efficient frontier modeling and being able to look at cost constraints and saying given, uh, say in this case, a $4 million constraint, how many of the potential projects and what value can we get out of this potential portfolio? Given this dollar constraint, we can only do 66.3% of the value of this portfolio according to the efficient frontier modeling. And we can force in and force out projects and do those types of things that Project Online allows us to do. But we can do it within the context of managing this within Dynamics 365. We can also recalculate and do other scenarios. For, so for example, if we actually have, um, uh, say, a $5 million constraint and we got another million dollars, we can actually do 83% of the value of that portfolio just if we get another million dollars into that budget. We can also look at it from a resource constraint perspective and um, uh, say, given the resources that we have, even though we can do 83% of the value of this portfolio from a um, dollar constraint perspective, uh, it says here that even if we hire six more resources, that we uh, can still only do 72% of this value of this portfolio based on the resource realities that we have. And this is including whether or not we even hire resources. So this gives us an idea of what type of resources we're going to need, and um, in this case, three infrastructure resources, a QA resource, et cetera, in order to get that 73% of the portfolio done. So the idea, this is made available to us right from within Dynamics 365, leveraging the capabilities and integration that Wickersoft provides to Project Online. Now, in this, we can use the native capabilities within Project Service Automation to do some work breakdown structures, et cetera, to support this. Or given folks who may be using Microsoft Project as a best of breed type of capabilities within here, we could actually come in here and look at a potential project and we could uh, select, say, this VoIP phones project and say, let's open it up in project. And right from here within Dynamics 365, we can actually open this up uh, in um, Project Online and actually use its capabilities to build your work breakdown structures, which can actually allow you to edit and open this in the browser or in Microsoft Project itself. And Microsoft Project does have a plugin that is a connector to project service automation in Dynamics 365 so that you can use the power and the strength of Microsoft Project to build robust work breakdown structures, schedules, and resource plans that feed into that project um, uh, entity within Dynamics 365. Also, if you're running Agile projects, you could actually go in and this Fabricam project that's in here uh, is being managed in an Agile fashion. And even though the details are coming here into Dynamics 365 for viewing and reporting purposes, uh, you can choose to use VSTS, for example, to execute on that project. And in this case, it will then open up the project and let the teams work on detail and build their product backlogs with their epics, features, user stories, etc., and actually build their iterations and sprints and actually manage these things in a storyboard fashion so that they can actually come in here and work on their iterations and sprints as they typically do and update these things. And the updates as well, they drag them through the different states of the storyboard or the task board and update hours and estimates in here. Um, Project Connect from Wickersoft will actually seamlessly and on a timed basis bring that information back to the central portfolio, um, back in Dynamics 365. So the information that we're getting about current status in here is based upon the information that's happening at the execution level, either in VSTS, in Project, or natively in Dynamics 365. Now, ultimately, this is gonna allow us to get dashboards and capabilities in here that uh, we typically may not get from a project management perspective. So for example, traditional PSA type of information or project service automation information would maybe be available to, through dashboards, uh, et cetera. 
but also we may be able to get dashboards in here that uh, have more traditional project and portfolio status that can be driven by the capabilities that are available to us in Microsoft Project Online, working in conjunction with Dynamics 365. So here I'm looking at portfolio status, I'm looking at uh, trends of numbers of issues and late tasks, et cetera, and be able to drill actually into the actual portfolio visibility and look at full portfolio analysis uh, driven by the information of this better together story with uh, Project Online and Dynamics 365. Uh, all of this is brought to you by Wickersoft Project Connect, uh, allowing these solutions to work better together seamlessly and share data in a way that is not impactful to the user. They can actually work in their tools natively, uh, uh, Visual Studio, Project, or Dynamics 365, and have that information flow into a central project repository, which in turn will then flow into our customer visuals as far as our customer-centered views of, uh, of all this work and activity. So thank you very much for your time today. Hopefully you've seen some things that are of interest, and uh, we hope to do some work with you in the future. Once again, my name is Jim Patterson with Microsoft.